everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I did a two-tone smoky eye, which is perfect for fall. I'm then going to go in with my Dermalogica Hydra Blur Primer. I love this because it fills my pores and evens out my skin tone. Next, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Magic Lumi, and this really just hydrates my skin. Before I put on my eyeshadow, I'm going to use MAC Eyeshadow Primer in the color Soft Ochre, and just put that all over my eyelid. I'm then going to take a blending brush and just blend it out to make sure it looks even. So I decided to use the Lorac Matte Pro Palette for my entire eye look today except for the glitter. I'm going to take the shade Bare and put that all over my eyelid. And then I'm going to take the shade Latte and put that in my crease. So I'm using a BH Cosmetics brush in the number B119. For the third shade, I'm going to take the color Pink Mauve and put that right under bare and all around the outside edge. Using my Morphe M200 blending brush, I'm gonna take the color corduroy and just pretty much outline the edge of my eye just to get it darker. I wanted the outside edge of my eye to be darker, so I went in with burgundy and chocolate and put that right over the color corduroy just to darken it up. So to re-intensify the first shade that I used, I'm going to take the color Bare again with the same brush and just put it on in the inner corner of my eye. Next, I'm going to take the color Corduroy just to blend the line between the chocolate and the Bare. So next, I'm going to go in with L'Oreal's The Super Slim Infallible Liquid Eyeliner. And then I'm going to take my Inglot Gel Liner because I really like how dark this one is. And the L'Oreal one just wasn't dark enough for this look I was going for. I'm then going to take my Morphe Flat Eye Brush in the shade Dark Black and just put that shade right along the outside edge of my wing liner but not going past it and staying really low. Okay, so with a new brush, I'm going to spray MAC Fix Plus on it, and then taking the shade Luna from Makeup Geeks palette by Manny MUA, I'm going to put that shade on the center of my eyelid, and then bring it into the inner corner of my eye. After I put the glitter on, I'm just going to go back in with the Jet Black shade and put that right above the liner. So to blend the black and the glitter, I'm going to take the brush I used to put on the glitter and just blend that out. And then I'm going to spray some more MAC Fix Plus on the brush and take a lot of the glitter and just really compact it onto my eyelid. To finish this eye look, I'm going to be adding a final layer of the Inglot Gel Liner. I'm then going to use a eyeliner pencil and just smudge in the black under my eye. To fill my brows, I'm going to be using Anastasia Brow Pomade in the color Dark Brown. To clean up my brows, I'm going to be using Mr. Right Now from Balm Cosmetics. It is an eyeliner, but I like to use it to clean up my brows and highlight my brow bone. Next, I'm going to curl my eyelashes and add a thin layer of mascara to the top and bottom. To apply my strip lashes, I'm going to be using Star Glue. And the brand of lashes I'm going to be using is called Coco Lashes. For my foundation, I'm going to be using the brand Becca in the color Rosette. To apply my foundation, I'm going to be using the Morphe M439 foundation brush. And this is my absolute favorite foundation brush. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer by Urban Decay. So with the same brush, I'm just going to blend 
the concealer out, and you really have to work quickly because it dries super fast. I'm going to finish blending my concealer with a damp beauty blender. To set my foundation and my concealer, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I usually bake every day because I just feel like it makes my foundation last a lot longer and look fresher all day. So I'm going to wipe it away immediately so I don't look too powdery. So for my contour, I'm going to be using the Tartus Contour Palette by Tarte, and I will be using a NARS brush. For blush, I'm going to be using the Milani Baked Blush in the color Luminoso, and to apply it, I'm just going to be using a e.l.f. blush brush. For my highlight, I'm going to be using the MAC Loose Powder and I will be using a Morphe fan brush to apply the highlight. Taking the lid of the highlighter, I'm just going to use my Morphe M438 brush and highlight my nose. To make sure my makeup lasts all day, I'm going to be spraying the Urban Decay setting spray. For my lips, I'm going to be using one of the Kylie Jenner lip kits, and this shade is called Cork K. I'm going to start off by lining my lips and kind of filling them in just to make the gloss last longer and then I will be applying the gloss. So this is my completed two-tone smoky eye look for fall. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like this video and let me know what video you guys want to see next. Bye! Say hi, I'm Lila. And I'm gonna do makeup. Look at the camera. You have to stand up taller stand to up say hi. and say hi. Hi. Say I'm Lila. No, 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 no. That will explode everywhere because it's loose pigment. <laughs>